So, what's up guys? I'm here. Carrot Bear. Today, I have officially scheduled the appointment to go ahead and get the piercings. <laughs> yeah. um, it's the same week. I haven't uploaded the other video for the clothing haul that I did. Um, excuse the hair. I'm supposed to get it done. My cousin's doing it tomorrow. And um, you get a helix and a nose piercing. So today, I hope to take you guys with me and also later just to do a review over the pain of the piercing and also the uh, aftercare and what you're supposed to do. As far as I'm concerned, like most people that I know or I've seen, they say that I've only seen like things over the helix piercing and then like I have like two friends that have a nose piercing. They're like, oh, it'll, it'll be quick. So um, I just pray that my piercers know what he, I just pray that my piercer knows what he's doing. Okay. Cause I don't want to be there and you know what I'm saying stuff. We're just gonna speak positivity over the whole thing. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I get to the shop. All right, guys. So I'm pretty nervous. Well, I'm not, okay. I was nervous, but I'm just ready to get it over with because I've been wanting it for too long now. But um, look at the sunset. So gorgeous. But hopefully, um, I didn't get to bring my stand, so hopefully I can find a place to set up. Getting a helix right here, nose piercing right here. Uh, they look simple, but I mean, the piercings really aren't that simple, I guess, but they are. So, nothing too major right now. Um, hopefully, I can set up when I get there. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back home. Oh my god, this light is so great. Gee, okay, hold on, let me tilt it up. Okay, all right, got a little bit of a shadow going on. Okay, um, well, I got them, they're pretty small right now. Uh, stainless steel that he had with little gems that he said that was in there. Um, All right, so let's get to the breakdown of the pain, of the pain. Um, I'm breaking out right here. So, crazy thing is, my nostril piercing hurt worse than my helix. Like, if I had, if I had a choice, I would get two helix piercings, because I didn't feel that at all. Like, this on the scale of like one to 10, this is like a two. Like, all I, the only thing why I would rate it as a two is because I heard it. That's the only reason why I would rate it a two, you know? Like, who wants to hear some going through, like, your, I don't know, it's kind of weird. So, I heard it, like, go pop, pop, you know, through my ear, but that, I didn't feel anything. Like, now, if I smile, I mean, I feel like it's there, but it's not, it's not painful. Um, this, on the other hand, it was kind of, like, It felt like it went through the top layer and then the needle was like just in there for a minute and then like it went through the bottom layer. But it was it was quick, but like you could just feel that. 
and the pressure of that and then that's why i rate this like a four or five out of ten i don't know my pain tolerance is pretty high um just because i've went through some traumatic stuff when i was a kid uh we'll probably talk about that a little later i don't know if you guys know but i'm a I'm an amputee. I mean, I'm sure you've seen it in a lot of my videos or my past video. Or the people that used to or have subscribed to my old channel have seen me. Or the first video of, like, I'll link it if I can. Um, my Threadbeast box review. I did a, um, like, review when I had, like, tried on all the clothes and everything. Um, you can see it in that video. I will talk later about what the name carrot bear stands for and what it means to me um that's not what we came to talk about but um yeah my pain tolerance is pretty high because my i used to have frequent like knee dislocations that's why i'm trying to go ahead and get uh knee surgery and so i can take this brace off and start working out and get my muscle on point and everything but overall the piercings were pretty they're, pre they're pretty nice um pain wise i told you it might be switched for you honestly pain he said that it depends on the person so to me right now my nose is the only thing that's throbbing but it's like it's not like unbearable you know what i'm saying like just like ew like i could still feel it like you know what i'm saying like it's just annoying but um yeah so if you're wondering um the time it takes to heal he actually told me that um water is the only thing you need to you know rinse your rinse and clean it with so i'm like okay cool you know i just stick my head in the water and just you know what I'm saying <laughs> and so it'll just I'll be good after that but um yeah another thing is I was about to say it uh time to heal yeah the time it takes to heal you said it can take up to, to a year but this takes up to a week or a week and some change this could take up to a year honestly I'm not too worried about it as you can see like the top part of my ear is red but I don't feel it. Like, I don't feel like it that, that it's in there. It's so weird. Like, I don't feel it in there, but I don't, I'm too scared to touch it. So, yep, time to heal pretty long. So I won't be able to change this one until later this year. Um, I was wishing to uh, change it during my birthday, but you know, now that I think about it, it's like, november so I, that wouldn't happen anyway because i was thinking like it'll take it would have taken like four to uh six months to heal that but he said it could take up to a year so yeah but that was all of this video let me know what you guys think in the comments would you ever get a piercing would you ever get i mean what type of piercings would you get uh what's your biggest fear about a piercing this video hope you liked it like comment share subscribe tell a friend and yeah i'll see you guys later on bye